to the Soviet High Command. Hostilities will officially at one minute after midnight tonight, but in the interest of saving lives, the ceasefire began yesterday to be sounded all along the front. The German war is therefore at the end. We may allow ourselves a brief period of rejoicing, but let us not forget for the moment the toil and the efforts that lie ahead. We must now devote all our strength and resources to the completion of our task, both at home and abroad. Advance Britannia! Long live the cause of freedom! God save the King! Sir, that is the message which I have been instructed to deliver to the British nation and Commonwealth. I have only two or three sentences to add. I wish to give my hearty thanks to men of all parties, to every one part of the House where they sit for the way in which the liveliness of the parliamentary institutions has been maintained under the fire of the enemy and for the way in which we have been able to preserve till all the objectives which we set before us have been achieved. A windstorm arose on the sea, so great that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But Jesus was asleep, and they went and woke him up, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, you of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a dead calm. They were amazed, saying, What sort of man is this? that even the winds and the sea obey him. Let us remember before God and commit.